Hello folks, Abfielder here, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial and today it's how to use Lightmatica to copy your build from a survival world into a creative world so you can work on it and figure out some solutions in creative. This is especially useful if like me you have an absolutely massive base. So the first thing we want to do is switch the, the tool area to the area selection. Now I can either do this with control and the mouse wheel or hit the M key and change it into the uh, the area selection mode as you saw me do in the screen uh, just a few seconds ago. I'm just gonna sleep so that this is all easier to see. I'm in my survival world, so uh, so this is, uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't just move the time on like I would normally do in a, a tutorial. Because essentially what I wanna do here is I built a sugarcane farm on this base and I wanna design a building for it. So we're going to go ahead and select a, a decent part of this base to start our selection. So I've got it in area selection mode. I've got the, the mode selection to simple. So I left click down there on that block. And now I'm going to head to the far right hand corner up the top. And I'm going to right click another block up here. So that's right clicked, okay? And that gives us gives us a broad area to start working with and makes it a little bit easier to do the adjustments we need to get this whole base. So now we've got that, what we can do in the area edit editor is go into the area editor and either left or right click to expand the area we have selected. So you can see I'm pushing that area out to try and get this pier that I've started building. So another way I can do this is I can fly over there, find out what that X coordinate is. There we go. And go back into the area ed editor and enter that coordinate in there. There we go. And boom, it's selected the the most eastern edge, I think, of my, of my base. I think that's right. Okay, so we've, we've got the full length of this base. Now we want to get the width of it. So we're going to go out here and do the same thing again. So out to the side and hit the M key. And then, yep, area editor. And then we're gonna expand on the Z coordinate this time. There we go. And now we've got that edge all covered, all copied. And now we're gonna fly over to the opposite edge. I'm just gonna fly up and show you how this area is looking now. I'm not too worried about that pier in the ocean. I'm not getting that coordinate. I just don't need it for what I'm working on at the moment. So it's not the uh, the end of the world. Okay, and then this is the, the last one on the, the length and the width, and then we're just gonna get the height sorted. So make sure you get the right coordinate. You can see it move as I, I change that there, and there we go. That's now got the length and width of this base. The only thing we've got left to do is the height. So the tallest building on this structure and the building that I actually want to get copied is this sugarcane farm at the moment. It's not going to be. It will change. So all I've got to do here is edit the Y coordinate. So I can just hit the plus button and uh, cover all that. So like you can see, if I right click, it temporarily goes back down. Make sure I've got the right area. And if I fly up onto that structure, make sure I've got everything because I want to make sure I've got those. So I think I haven't got the, I haven't got this top layer. So I haven't got the redstone and the, the torches on here. So if I expand that up again, that looks a little bit better. So I think I've gone two above now. So if I just go back down one more and hit the M key, as you can see, every time I'm hitting the M key, it's also shared that functionality with the replay mod. So it's putting a marker in my, uh, in my replay mod to say this is an interesting moment. Cool, we've got the area selected. So now what we need to do is save this area. So if we hit the M key and go into the area editor and then save the schematic, I wanna save it as, where's my, my ocean base? There we go. Can I overwrite it? Hit that save button. No, I can't. So I'm just gonna give it a V2 version two number and save the schematic. There we go. Okay, that is now saved so I can go into my creative world with it. So I'm gonna disconnect from the server and open up the, the world in creative. So here we are in creative and this is my base and this is how it looked just a little while ago actually. And as you can see, there is no sugarcane farm on this base and the central tower is a bit smaller. 
So as you can see, I've done some work on this since. So I want to copy and paste my new version of this base into this world. So I'm going to get down to roughly where I want to place this schematic. This will make things easier. So a couple of things to talk about. Firstly is the hotkeys. So if you go into the menu and uh, and have a look at your configuration options, head into the hotkeys. The paste replace behavior is one that you will need to change. Now, it depends what you're doing, but in this instance, I want to replace all the blocks there. The second one is the hotkeys is the execute operation. Set yourself a hotkey. I've set it to left shift, shift plus X, and this is what's going to allow you to paste the schematic. So from the main Lightmatica menu, we want to load up that schematic, so the V2, and it's going to place it where I'm standing, essentially. So this is why I've gone into the ocean to do this bit, and I've got it slightly wrong. Not too far off, but not too bad. If you if you sort of stood up where I am now and you place it, then you've got more work to do to get this correct. So we're going to do something very similar to what we did before. We're going to go into schematic placements schematic placements we're going <laughs> to configure the placement on there and we're just going to use the plus and the minus buttons to to move this into place so we'll get this lined up we need to go one get that right move that across and then we just need to move it forward just a few blocks and just to the left three or four more blocks there we go perfect that's exactly where we want it. We do not want to move it. So I'm going to just set that to lock so I don't accidentally move it. I have done that before. Do not need to move this now. So the last thing I need to do now is I want to paste this and we use the shift and the X button, but you have to be an, in the correct mode to do this. So if you look in the bottom left hand corner at the moment, it says area selection. So when I'm hitting shift X, it's not doing anything. And um, I've also got it set so that you can only paste when you have the stick in your inventory. You can change that. That is a configurable option. But I've done it so only when the stick is in my inventory. As you can see, that is completely invisible at the moment. It is just a schematic. So if I go through this and I've gone into mode 6, grid paste schematic in world, I'll tell you now, this is incorrect. Didn't work. You want to go down to 5. You want to paste that schematic into world. Mode 5. Have the stick in your hand, and if you've set the, the hotkey the same as I have, shift and X, boom. There we have it. Now, that is pasted into my world block by block, and as you saw, that's completely instant. So I'm just going to unload that schematic now. So there's no schematic loaded, as you can see. I'm just going to clear the selected area as well, because I've got that, uh, that little bit selected. So if I just clear out the coordinates, and there we go. That's how you copy and paste your world or your, your build into a creative world so you can work on it and, and do some plans. That's what I do. I find it incredibly useful. I hope you find this useful. I hope you found the video useful. If you have, give it a like and please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, folks, I'm Abfielder. That's all i got time for today. Goodbye.